today I am going to show you something really cool. Unlike the temperature here in North London, where I am. So this is all about proximity join and teams casting. Discovering a nearby room and wirelessly sharing your content. So let's have a look and see what we can do. So, so here we have my Microsoft Teams room, a single display. Microsoft Teams room is on Android, a neat bar and pad. And I also have my iPhone uh, here. So let's say I want to join an existing meeting. I can see the room is, is not booked out. There's nothing in the calendar. I could walk up and reserve, or I could add the meeting through the calendar or forward the invite to that meeting space. However, if I simply click on the join button and at the bottom, I have more joining options. And here you will see I have got the join meeting room. And it actually tells me four rooms are ready to join. And now it's going to use Bluetooth Discovery to look for a nearby room. So it's low power, so you're going to be in the right room. I've got a lot of devices on my desk, hence I see a lot. So I simply select room number five. That puts it in the top, and I simply hit join. So what you'll see happen now is the device comes alive. I've got all my friends in the call, but I've also got room control ready on my iPhone now. So I'm able to send some reactions into the meeting. I'm able to, to look at the chat. So if there is any chat in the call, I have all that capability here. And also I, I have room control. So I can monitor the uh, level of the device. I can also then mute the camera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So great features available in this companion mode with your uh, iPhone as well. I can turn on captions so they'll be displayed on the front of room display. So all really easy to do. So nice and simple, find a room, wirelessly connect and join that meeting. Now you could obviously also uh, join by meeting code in a Microsoft Teams Rooms on Windows, which is coming soon. That was announced last week that you can walk up and input the code. But I think this is much easier than able to proximity join, find it and just join that meeting instantly. So that's the first demonstration that we want to see today. And let's leave that meeting. So when I leave it, I can either end the meeting for all or I can leave just my device. Um, so I will hang up on the pad as well. So that is now ready for the next call. So the next feature we have is Teams Casting. So being able to walk up and share your content, whether you're in a meeting or not in a meeting. So I have the option to hit more. And I can see all my icons available to me. But I've made it my favorite. I put it down there. So it's now searching and it's found some rooms that are nearby. So it's now able to cast wirelessly to several devices that you have nearby. And then we have room number five. And again, we get the option now to either share a PowerPoint or our whole screen. So if I have a PowerPoint that has been saved um, in my OneDrive or my Teams channel chat, I can utilize that and join that to the meeting. Now what's really nice, so this will then join the device to the call. And as you will see, the front of room display will wake up now and connect in. Same with the uh, touch panel, that will uh, activate as well. So we now have that in sync. But also on the touch panel, I have the ability to take control. I simply hit take control and I get a pop-up message on the uh, touch screen. Do I want to uh, take control of this presentation? I simply say yes to that. And now I have control of the presentation. So I can now use the arrow buttons on the touch panel to move my slide deck forward and backwards. So nice and simple for users. If you are using PowerPoint Live, which I strongly recommend, it's such a great tool. Other people can then take control of the system. And as you'll see on the front of room display, that has now changed the slide. So really simple for users to come in, wirelessly share, and then get going on their content. Any questions? Let us know and we'll be happy to help.